morning, folks. Gary here from GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. If you are missing your raised bed vegetable garden, if you are missing your greenhouse, if you are missing your garden at all, and it is in the middle of the winter, well, you can join Miss Betty and I because we have this hydroponic aero garden kit that we've used from time to time over the past couple of winters. We've grown herbs, we've grown tiny tim tomatoes, and we are getting ready now to grow some lettuce. Yes, indeed. We have some romaine lettuce here in this package that we uh, that we purchased from Amazon to, uh, to put in these little pods. You can see the little pods right here. They go inside this hydroponic kit right here. Now, I'm just gonna plug it in so you get some general idea of how this works. It is electric, it takes water, and it takes food and nutrients that all comes in this kit right here. Okay, so as you can see, there's the kit. It contains six pods, and our hydroponic arrow garden also has space for six pods. So we're gonna be growing some lettuce and this is the beginning of a series now that we are going to begin over the next few weeks. And from time to time, we'll do an updated video to show you just exactly how this works. It is a great, great hydroponic in-house, kitchen, cupboard, top uh, hydroponic garden thing that we use. And like I said, we've enjoyed it so much. We've grown lots of herbs, lots of baby tomatoes, tiny Tim tomatoes in this uh, in this arrow garden over the last few years and like i said we're getting ready to grow some romaine lettuce now and we're going to try this to see if we could grow enough romaine lettuce for a salad for us or for some sandwiches and that's going to take a little while and over the next few weeks we'll do weekly updates for you on this garden so stay tuned stay with us and we'll bring you along step by step on this journey uh with us and how this arrow garden actually does work. I have it plugged in there now. Uh, I think the uh, dial tells us that we have to add some water. So we're gonna follow the menu on this arrow garden and just follow the instructions. It is very, very simple, folks. Uh, we paid about 150 bucks for this Canadian. So in the US, in the States, that's probably gonna be about 100 or 120 bucks. So uh, if you would be interested in getting one of those, let us know. We can give you particulars on how to order it on Amazon. Just send us a comment from time to time and we'll be very glad, Miss Betty and I, to send you lots of info on this Arrow Garden, okay? Like I said, we purchased it from Amazon and we paid about 150 Canadian. And like I said, in the States, you will probably get this for about 120 US dollars, okay? A great little uh, countertop garden that you can have to grow whatever you want, herbs, uh, like uh, baby tomatoes that we've done before, and we're getting ready, as I said, to grow some lettuce right now. Okay, so I've unboxed the kit that we just purchased from Amazon, the romaine lettuce, and I just wanna turn it over onto the reverse side of this box, okay? And it gives some instructions on here. It says that it is guaranteed to germinate, and if you turn over one of the pods, one of these, it says that it will germinate in about one to seven days, okay? So we should see some green foliage, some green plants in about a week. So a week from now, we'll do another update on this hydroponic arrow garden. And I wanna show you what came in the kit. So it came with these six pods that we're gonna put in these slots right here. There's room for six, okay? And it came with six. It came with these little plastic domes that sort of look, that sort of make it look like a little greenhouse when these go on. It came with the plant food, this bottle right here, liquid plant food. And you also have to fill it up with water. So I have the water there ready to go. The water goes in the front right here. So I'm gonna do that in a second and get this all set up so that over the next few weeks, uh, Miss Betty and I will probably have some romaine lettuce so we can make a salad and we can make some sandwiches. It also came with an instruction guide, a booklet that we can follow. And here's a little booklet that came with it. So if you're new to, uh, hydroponic planting or growing, you can follow the booklet. Now we've done this several, several times, so we're sort of like little pros at this now, uh, and uh, we know kind of know what we're doing. But if you're new to this, uh, follow along with the, uh, with the instructions guide for sure. Send us a message 
and we will be very, very glad to respond to you and give you some pointers on some of the things that we've done as we've been growing various things on this. As I said, we've grown herbs, we've grown lettuce before, we've grown tomatoes before, so it's a great little gadget. Okay, so we're getting ready to put the water in now, and there is a fill line, so we're gonna fill up to the top where it says fill to here. Okay, it's a very simple process. The instructions are fairly simple for you to follow. Okay, fill to here. Okay, I'm gonna need some more from the tap, I think, so I'm gonna go get some more. And it just takes regular household water, folks. You don't have to go out and get any special uh, ionized water or any water from a drugstore like that. It's just regular tap water is good. So again, I'm just gonna see now if this does it. I'm gonna fill up to where it says fill to here. Okay, almost another little bit more water. I said regular tap water is all you need. That might do it. Okay, so filter here is done. Okay, that's so that step is finished. Now, the next step is just to put these in. I'm gonna put these six pods in here now. Romaine lettuce sprouts in one to seven days. So just put them in the holes, just like that. There's space there for six. Okay, just lay them in like that. Here we go. For any of you, like I said, who's, uh, who's uh, missing your garden, missing your greenhouse, eager to get out and it's middle of the winter, like it is here in Canada right now. We can't get out in our garden, of course, but we have this instead. So this will get us over the hump while we're waiting for spring to arrive in about eight to 10 weeks. Now, I wanna talk about these little domes. These little domes go on now at the very beginning and it turns these pods into little greenhouses, little miniature greenhouses. So just put them on top like that, like I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Keep to heat in, right? Okay, so there's enough there for each one. Okay, okay now. Uh, we're missing one, but not to uh, not to worry because we have some extra in the cupboard from last time. So let me go over to the cupboard, and I think we have some up here. Here we go from where we've done it in the past. We've got we've got lots of these little domes. Actually, look, must have about a dozen there. Okay, so the kit came was supposed to come with six, but it only came with five. But we got lots, as I said, from previous uh, orders that we've done. Okay, so we're done. Now I want to talk a little bit about the light here. The light is very, very important. That light must be working. And the height is very important too. In the beginning, you need to have this adjusted down to its lowest point right there so that the most light is shining on the pods. Okay, so there we go. And when they sprout in seven days, the instructors will tell you uh, to lift the light up a little higher. We've got lots of room to adjust the light. But right now it needs to be down to its lowest point. Uh, like I said, um, this lettuce will need lots of heat and lots of light over the next few days. It now has its water and we're shortly gonna add some, some food. So we've added the water and we've added the pods and we've got the adjustment made now so that there's lots of light and lots of heat for these pods and these romaine lettuce uh, seeds to germinate. Now we must add the plant food, and Miss Betty's gonna do that now, because the plant food has to be added in the very beginning. So she's gonna do that right now. So she's gotta figure out some things here with the menu and all that kind of stuff in terms of the amount to follow, and she's gonna be pressing some buttons here now, folks. And uh, she knows how to do this, because she's been the one who's been doing this over the last few years, not me. I've been out in the garden doing stuff, and she's been doing this here in the house, here on our cupboard. So she's doing some adjustments here now, and there's, uh, the menu been, is reading out some various instructions, and she's following them. So she knows exactly how much. She's checking the time on her watch here, okay? So she knows what she's doing. I don't have, I don't have a clue, but, but Betty does. So Betty got this all figured out. Not, not sure what she's doing, but follow your instructions in your guide, and you can figure it out as well. Betty knows exactly what she's doing. She's making the adjustments, as I said, 
following the menu, following the instructions. She's done this several, several times as we've grown various herbs and lettuce and tomatoes over the last few years. Okay, so once she gets it all adjusted there now, we'll know how much of the plant food we need to have. Here you go. Hear it? Cutting in? Okay, so she's got it all figured out. So she knows what to have there now. Okay, so for the ones that we have, we have six pods there now. We have six romaine lettuce pods. So following the instructions on the plant food, it says for six to seven pods, we had to add eight milliliters or two capfuls of plant food from this container. So we're gonna do that now. Betty's gonna add two capfuls. Now, like I said, if you only wanted to put three in or four in, then you gotta follow the instructions for less. But this is the instructions for six pods. Here's what the plant food looks like. It is a brownish color. Okay, here we go, one. And remember for six, it takes two. So here's the second one. Okay, here we go. So two plant foods in our hydroponic arrow garden that we have on our countertop in our kitchen here in Gander, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Canada. And in a week's time, we will come back and hopefully in our next update, we will see some little romaine lettuce uh, foliage or green showing in these pods. See you next week, folks, for the next update. And thanks for watching. We are GBL, the old church, five-acre homestead.